uh, once you lose, you know, the whole world seems like now they're against you and they're making jokes about you on, on the internet. I think that ha has something to do with it too. You know, we saw the news of Delfimo and the doctors saying that he's lucky to be alive after the fight. And a lot of people, were, to, to my surprise, I thought a lot of people were going to be like, oh, okay. I thought they'd be more understanding, but a lot of people were still clowning on him, saying he was the new Deontay Wilder and all this stuff. I was like, man, these dudes are ruthless. Yeah. How do, how do you feel about those comments? Do you side with the doctors, with Delfimo? Obviously, there's, you know, like you said, there's people on, 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 on so many sides. Where do you feel... When it comes to, to to that story that ESPN broke, to the Teofimo um, medical issues. And we, we can get into it after we discuss the Haney and Tank. I don't want to skip over that. But at first, I was like, damn, that's kind of scary. It's kind of scary, right? Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, I was like, man, he still put, a, put on a hell of a fight. So you got to commend him even more because both guys show tremendous heart. Uh, yeah. you, uh, besides, you know, the personal issues, obviously. Besides the, the stuff going on outside of the ring for Tofimo or draining mm -hmm. to make 135, I was like, man, that's impressive that he was able to do yeah. that. But then when you, uh, I posted it on our Instagram and then a lot of people were just talking more smack about him. I was like, damn, I was confused. And I was like, yeah. but is there something that I, I don't know or did I miss something? Because, man, at first I, when I read it, I thought it was pretty scary to think that, yeah. you know, he was literally, you know, risking his life. I'm um, not going to lie, when I first read it, I was like many fans, like, what the heck is this? I was like, what? But then, you know what? I, I took I took some time back. I was like, you know what? These doctors know more. Um, obviously, like, they're not just going to say something just to say. These guys have been to school 10, 10 plus years. They're, they're doctors for a reason. They can diagnose. We can't. Obviously, they know something about. Hey, the, there's a lot of doctors order. on Instagram, bro. I didn't realize <laughs> that. There was like 100 doctors in that comment section. I mean, I understand. I understand uh, the boxing fans like attacking Dale because Dale doesn't give him that. He post that fight, he didn't present present himself in a classy way, so he, he obviously getting a lot of heat. Um, but the doctors know more than than any of us. You know, they they're not just going to say this just to say it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I honestly, um, we don't know what's going on. Obviously, we know Teofimo's going through a lot of distractions, a lot of things happening in his outside life. I'll be one of the first to admit he didn't look like the the, the Teofimo that defeated Lomachenko. Uh, he looked a little off. Um, yeah, no, he's. I I honestly do think he there was something wrong with him. Um, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. I would advise him to post it on his social media because it's just there for him to get, you know, negative negative comments and all that. But yeah, I think he needs to assess his check his body, take some breaks, take take some time off, fix whatever he has to fix outside his life, and you know, come back when he's 100 percent in that ring. But um, yeah, we'll see what in the coming weeks, coming months, but the true diagnosis of what happened or what's going on in, in, in his body. Yeah, I think if it would have been anyone else, people would have been a lot more understanding. But because of, because of like you said, the way he acted after the fight, um, the fact that I guess a lot of people don't like him now, right? After he, he was one of the kings and he beat Lomachenko and he's undisputed and takes a loss and now people hate him, you know. I think if it would have been anyone else, people would have been like, oh, okay, damn, that's messed up. We hope he gets yeah. well. But because of his... Yeah. Phil and his dad, they're like, nah, you guys are full of excuses, whatever, so-and-so, not true. Yeah. You know, everybody became a doctor overnight. Um, I don't know. I, I think, in my opinion, like, whoever it was, I would I would hope that everything is okay and that he's able to continue fighting at, at the highest of levels, you know, because he does have a, still a promising career. You know, one yeah. loss to me is nothing. It's nothing, man. You're yeah. the greatest legends of all time. You all have multiple losses you know so yeah there's one loss i mean it's just learning experience very close fight could have gone his way but um yeah i just hope everything is is cool with him everything is good that he's good physically and able to still challenge you know at 40 and 47 <coughs> down the road so um i don't know i i like to give people the benefit of the doubt i guess you know i believe he yeah. was 
had a condition there going into the fight. I believe Davis was hurt his hand, you know. Uh, I don't know. I, he probably still thought he won 11-2 um, despite the, <laughs> the condition. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah Big Bro says sounds like that. Extra sauce to it. Uh, <laughs> they're talking about making jokes about that and obviously some comments about Loma. But, yeah, I don't know. Interesting stuff, and we'll see what happens. I was I read the whole article. Seemed like they, they were uh, respected doctors. So, to me, I was like, there's, I didn't have any reason to doubt it. But then once people started making negative comments, I'm like, man, what did I miss? Everybody seems to have inside scoop or something because they're just criticizing him. But anyway, yeah, that was that. I, I mean, if something would have happened to him, seriously, I'm sure people yeah. wouldn't have would be spouting off, you know, all the negative comments, but um, yeah, at the end of the day, Loma doesn't make he doesn't do himself any favors by you know, uh, saying those comments post fights. So, I mean, part of the sport, hopefully, he's good. Hopefully, he, they are able to, he's over able to heal and again fix whatever things are going on outside of his life because I it seemed like he's he's fighting some other battles outside. So, hopefully, he's able to get piece that together. We've already said what we thought about his dad, um, but that's another. That's we'll, we'll say that for another podcast. Yeah, I saw this clip. Somebody posted a clip of Senior saying, "If my son doesn't stop him within like three rounds, I'm gonna stop training." <laughs> and it was just like a loop. Like he just kept saying over and over. So I thought that was very interesting. But um, yeah. yeah, that was that. Uh, 135 pound division closing out the year, the championship round. Uh, Loma coming up this weekend and we'll see man 2022 all these guys man they got to see each other 